So, uh, Kathy, Sue, John, Andrew, we're nearing completion of your house. Very Just wanted to ask a couple of questions and, and occasionally look at me and occasionally look at the camera. Mm -hmm. um, I wanted to, to cast your mind back to when we first started about two, just over two years ago, wasn't it, Susan? I met you when we talked about the, your, your dreams and visions for the house. We talked about different options there. We even talked about doing a granny flat in the in, in the backyard. Yes, we did. And then I didn't hear from you for about six to eight months. What what made you choose us to do to design your house in here? Vibes. The vibe, good vibes. Okay. Well, no, I interviewed about five six people. Wow. And some of them were quite um, closed about what they planned. And when they said, "Hey," they wouldn't show you what they planned, and that, that annoyed. No, just felt not right. Okay. Took a bit of prayer, discernment, knowing that you were okay. Christians, Catholics, um, was a big draw card for me. Okay. Um, we were on the same plane. Um, I liked your, con same. Yeah, I I liked your, your like confidence um, and the openness with which you were willing to discuss the, the ideas and plans from the beginning. Good, I'm, I'm glad you chose us. And when we first designed your house and, and you were contemplating using us to build, um, so this is about a year ago, what sort of anxieties and fears did you have about the actual building process? I thought it would be far noisier. Noise? I thought, yeah. I thought there would be far more dust. I thought the dust whole and disruption. Would be and it would be unpleasant. And it wasn't. Yeah. But we also had huge fears of the rain coming in. Could you speak up? I'm not sure if we can. We, had, we were very frightened of the rain coming in. Yep. And it did. And it came one night, it was like a waterfall down our bedroom wall. <coughs> but it all got fixed in the end. Yes. We were concerned about um, how the house, the old house, would bear up to the impact of the demolition and the construction work. Um, and it got shaken, but what happened to it has been fixed. Um, yeah, we're hoping it will last because you know, this is just near the end of the build. I'd like to see a year into how the whole house is standing up. It will. <laughs> <laughs> it will. I guarantee. And how did the, the job itself go? The, the tradesmen, how did you get on with the tradesmen? Were they fantastic? They, fantastic. they were friendly, they were happy, they were willing. Um, there was no job too big too small. And um, efficient and quick. It was a pleasure to see them here every morning. They were good. It really was. It was, a, it was a, always a positive day when there were people on site, yes. despite the ungodly hour that work starts. It's 7 o'clock in the morning. 7 o'clock till 3 o'clock. <laughs> what are you going to do with your 7 o'clock now? You'll be able to sleep in till... No, we're all programmed now. You're programmed. <laughs> <laughs> where's everybody? Where's everybody? <laughs> and uh, one last question. Uh, the weekly meetings with, with the supervisor, with Gavin, the supervisor, how did that work out? It's that, it, you know, it was very good. Keep you informed? Yes. 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 Keep yes. you on track with decisions? It was what kept us in the loop. And we noticed in the weeks that we didn't have them, which was occasionally, that we didn't feel as connected to what was going on mm -hmm. and we didn't feel as on top of the situation. But it was always caught up on later and it was always um, fleshed out and filled in later. So, so it was having, having Gavin on site also, that formal on site, we saw him all the time, so half the time we knew what was happening because we were asking him. We were constantly cornering him and asking him questions. And he always... He was always very friendly and accommodated. <laughs> Good. Well, I hope you enjoyed. We've still got a bit of finishing work to do here on the veranda. Uh, but I wish you happy success. I wish you many, many happy memories. Much joy and blessings living in your new home above your parents, being close to your parents. Because uh, that was that was their dream to have their children living with them close to them. Roman, thank you very much. You um, lead a fantastic team of I staff, know. and even yeah. the office staff. Everyone has been very accommodating, very patient, very friendly.